Right, a few holes at Royal Ascot. Uh, I've started on the first with a par, it's turned a 29 yard par 3 and I got to the front edge of the green and chipped and putted. I didn't actually film it because I'm trying to rush out and get out in front of a couple of four balls. But I'm on the second now, which is a par 5 and we'll see how we get on. Right, found a fairway on this second, so so far so good, and we'll see where we go from here. Now, if you follow me regularly on my blog, which is 3 off the uk, or if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, you can click on the uh, blog button on the top of the screen, or if you're looking on an iPad or iPhone or something like that, you can go along to the about bit, click on that and click on website and it'll take, me, take you to the blog um, but if you've been following me you'll know that I've been in hospital recently and I'm suffering from what's called post viral fatigue and so I'm not actually 100% fit and should probably be out playing but I'm going to try and do nine and see how it goes because I'm just getting bored at home and hopefully we'll get some air in my lungs and I'll start feeling better but as you can probably tell already I'm out of puff and I'm only halfway down the second hole so we're on the fairway anyway, and I've actually quite a nice drive, so we'll see where we go from here. Okay, so a little hybrid down second into position. I've got about 70 yards in, I would guess, something like that. So, so far so good. I'm feeling okay, just so short breath at the moment. This post viral fatigue I've had has just really not been off my feet. It's not been fantastic at all. So, I'm just glad to get out and get some air in my lungs, really. It's not a bad old day here in Archer, or Royal Ascot Golf Club. A bit breezy, well very breezy as you can probably hear, so apologies for the sound content on this video. And hopefully the rain will stay away, the clouds are looking quite broken. So as I say, par on the first, fairway found on the second, and a good layup. So so far so good. Right then, it's saying 82 yards into the flag. So I've got my 52 degree wedge and we'll see what we can do. So I came up short, but another par, so on to the third. Right, the third at Ascot's a 366 yard par 4, and there's an environmental area to go over, which is the brown grassy things you can see, and it's about a 200 yard carry, and once you get over that, it's just straight down, 
so we'll see how we get on on this one. I made part of the last, so I'm level part after two. So far, so good. Say this is the third hold up on Alaska, 366 yard par 4 over a hazard. I've hit a bit of a cut up one, but the wind is into and off the left, so I hope the wind is a little bit of a contributing factor. But I think I've just missed a fairway on the right, but there's a fairway bunker down there, and I'm not sure if I'm in it, so we'll wander up and have a look. But I guess it okay, so. Bear in mind I haven't really played or practiced, it's going far better than expectations. Nobody's out on the course at the moment, there's a couple of four balls behind me and the two ball I think just got off the first, but at the moment it's all very quiet and serene, very pleasant. I'm probably standing really out of breath by now because I'm still struggling to get air into my lungs and hopefully the wind's not making too much noise on the camera. But this is all going terribly well. It's actually the first video log I've done and I didn't realise quite how difficult it is trying to film yourself on your own with nobody else to hold the camera. So it's all a bit stop start. I hope it's not too bad once it all gets edited together and we'll see where we go from there. But so far, so good. I get shots at the first and the second, so technically I'm two under my handicap, which is all rather spiffing. But I'm walking up and I can't actually see my ball, so I've got a horrible feeling we may well be in this fairway bunker, which isn't so good. So we'll go and see it and we'll play the shot from where it is. Right, as predicted, I found the fairway bunker. It's 137 yards to the middle of the green, so we'll see what we can do. Not really out of fairway bunkers, but we'll give it a go. It's gone to the right and about 40 yards short, so not my best shot. Right, so I've left myself 62 yards to the pin over a bunker. rubbish and I'm in the bunker.
horrible double bogey six. So that wasn't so good, but on to the fourth. Ugly little double bogey at the six. That's more my normal standard. Didn't really play anything fantastic there. Got it out of the bunker okay, it's about eight foot, but didn't get a fantastic putt. So we'll have a look. The next is a par four, it's only about 300 odd yards. There is a bunker you can't actually see from here in the middle of the fairway, about 260. So that's a view down to the fourth hole. As I say, it's about 300 odd yards with a bunker about 260. It's par four and we'll see how we get on on this one. Right then, so I think that's another fairway found here on the 4th, if not it's just gone off to the right, a bit fady but another good strike, a bit brassed off about that third hole, I didn't play that at all well, I thought once I got out of the bunker off the fairway and left myself about 80 yards or 60 yards wherever it was in, it would just be a nice smooth sand iron but I ate a crap shot, stuck it in the bunker and rocked up a nice little double bogey. So that's cheesed me off a little bit, but we'll crack on. I may have to actually stop filming for a couple of holes because there's a two ball starting to get on my tail and I want to try and get in front of them as much as I can. But we'll finish the fourth hole and see where we go from there. Oh, I'm actually right in the middle of the fairway. What a poppy dazzler. I was walking down the right hand side and I'm not used to being onto short grass. I don't know what to do now. But we'll see how far it is and we'll stick it on the green hopefully and go from there. I said walking down one of the earlier holes, what a lovely day it is. It's just started to rain and I do have a two ball catching me up. So I'm just gonna stop filming for a little bit, pat out on this hole and try and get ahead and hopefully film the six hole, which is a really nice little path three. Hopefully the rain will have stopped by then as well. So I should see you on the six T. Absolutely typical, the first hole I don't film and I make a nice little par 5. Hit a great drive, found the fairway, hit so so five wood that drifted a bit on the wind into the light rough. Actually missed the green with my shot from 82 yards with my 52 degree wedge. Hit a really scabby thin pitching wedge from about 20 yards, chipping onto the green to 5 foot and hold the putt. But no, it was on camera, hey ho. Anyway, this is the 6 hole, beautiful little par 3. It's measuring 170 yards today and playing straight into the wind. Now the trees you can see on the right are all out of bounds. And if I pan slide to the left, just left of that footpath on, on the left is out of bounds as well. So it's a tight old par three. Not my favourite hole in the world and I have struggled here in the past, but hopefully we'll put a nice smooth swing on it and it'll go great. I'm gonna be eating three hybrid into this as it's into the wind. Right, after that big build up, 
there was one or two camera issues. I couldn't get the tripod to stay up in this wind. So I'm afraid it didn't catch my tee shot, which is probably just as well because I've hit a high cutty one and I'm not sure where it's finished up, but it's right into the teeth of wind, 170 yards, tight out of bounds on the right, out of bounds on the left, not my favorite hole. And we'll just go and see if we can find it. Right then, dear viewer, not very good. I hit the hybrid okay, but I cut it and it just drifted on the wind. And I thought it got over the trees on the right, but I couldn't find it, so a lost ball. So, not very good. But, so far, we have gone par three with a shot for three points on the first. Par five with a shot for three points on the second. A double bogey six for one point on the third. A par four for two points on the fourth. And a par five with a shot for three points on the fifth. So at that point I was two under my handicap and obviously not scoring that hole puts me back to a level handicap so far. So pretty disappointed because it wasn't a bad shot, it just drifted on the wind and cut a bit. But it probably was a five wood into that wind because it's really picking up out here now. But it is what it is and I'm glad to be out. Not swinging it great but we're making a score. So we'll crack on to the seventh hole. Right then, the seventh hole at Royal Ascot. It's a par four. It's the second hardest hole on the course. It's 398 yard par four. Where that big oak tree you can see on the left hand side, there's a ditch that runs across to the big oaks on the other side. At about 235, so most people lay up and then take, take the chance of a longer second shot. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a five wood. Wind's blowing, slightly helping, but strong right to left. So we'll see where we go. Right then dear viewer, that wasn't my Sunday best, but I think we might be on the fairway again. If not, we're only just in the night run. I aim for the big trees on the right, but obviously I'm in the hole. Because the wind's just blowing straight across the hole. It makes it a bit skinny, but I just thought the wind would move that, and it didn't do a thing. So, a little bit disappointed, but what can you do? There's a little few spots of rain in, in the air again, just to make life interesting. But I can see me ball, it ain't gone very far. So it was a great strike. I'm not sure. Actually, it's done, it is my ball, I think that's a leaf. Yeah, I can see my ball, it's miles down there. Far better than I thought. And we got a shot into the green, so happy, happy days. As I say, a bit annoyed about the last hole wasn't that ball. So it's one of my nemesis hard holes, so I don't enjoy that thing out of my eye. And I get a shot there at the moment off 14, which is probably a bit rude, but I just don't like the hole, it doesn't sit good to my eye and I never seem to play it well. But it is what it is. Anyway, we're going five with ball here and we're trying to make it. 25 yards, wind blowing straight across from right to left, and we'll see where we go. I've just missed the fairway, so I can't move it. Slightly downhill lie, and I've got a five wood, so let's see what we can do.
second shot into this hole. I've left myself about 100 yards with a straight right to left wind. I'm having all sorts of trouble trying to get the camera to stand up, so I'm just going to play the shot and then hopefully put it on the green and go from there. Right, well, I hit a bit of a screen, okay, and hopefully I'll make a five net four, but I'm going to have to stop filming because it's starting to rain a bit heavier and I'm getting caught up by the two ball behind me, so I need to crack on. So I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into some of the holes of the skirt and my first video log. I'm sorry the conditions haven't been great and I hope it comes out okay once it's on the YouTube channel and hopefully I'll see you for another game soon in better conditions.